our journey begins. We made it past the checkpoint. We're gonna go to our flight and then we'll be on Kauai. Our first FNG trip. First class, good upgrade. They just cheer on, boo. Ready, help these guys. Four airlines. What is this? You are back by the elevator. <laughs> are you for grab? All good, all good. They took some spears out. It's okay, sponsor us on our next flight, man. Four airlines, <laughs> heard that? Sponsor Fish and Grills. Let's see you. Let's see you. Yeah. We're good, we're good. Okay, right. start loading this thing up. Let's get started. <laughs> Happy birthday. Thank you. Yeah. Right, we are here. We made it to the long run of house. Yes, yeah, up. Yeah. Let the journey continue. This episode of Fishing What are you two handsome fellas doing out here? See us three right there. Ooh. Just take a look around. Good look, let's see what it looks like around here. Good look. I don't even see it. Good look at the camera. So that's us right there. And then we'll take a look around the property. Ooh. Or like we're like in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> There's like hardly any neighbors around. <laughs> no one will hear you scream. <laughs> <laughs> like literally in my neighborhood, it's like maybe like a hundred houses. <laughs> well, Kapa'a B stop is closed. We're gonna deliver that, deliver these birds tomorrow. So we're gonna go straight to the beach, see if we can get some fishies. Stick around. Mm -hmm. Yep, we're just finishing up at the Alam Rana house here. Getting our gear ready. Start our day. Look at this beautiful property. <laughs> Alright, picking up foragings for some ingredients. What is that? Wow. Oh. Oh. oh I got it. Yeah. Drink it. <laughs> it's not small, but it's not bad, though. It's like a burn. Maybe this one over here. That's kind of cool. Okay, Chef, climb that coconut tree, grab some coconuts. <laughs> All right, let's grab a couple of coconuts so we can whip up some. Fish dish. Some foraged fish dishes. Huh. <laughs> yeah, we're just walking on some random property. <laughs> just kidding, I think. <laughs> oh, speed limit 25. Oh, yeah. 25 steps per minute. 
All right, looks like he's got his eyes on right some. <laughs> oh, he shaves all the way up the tree. He's getting some coconuts. Don't fall, bro. You're high up there. Oh, fall down. Ah. <laughs> Look at this tree. So short. You got to duck under to get the coconuts. Chug a lug a lug. Oh, straight from the nut. <laughs> <laughs> this will be for our OnlyFans page. You can't put it on YouTube. <laughs> Only fish. Breakfast of champions. Natural Gatorade. Okay. Alright, looks like we harvested enough goodies. We can put the uh, breadfruit on top so that way it doesn't. They're gonna drip, they're gonna drip off coconuts. Yeah, that'll be good. Harvesting from the land. Here we go. I'm running the crew. Yeah, so we're thinking about doing like a Tahitian type of ceviche. Yeah, what is it called? What's it called? Poison crew? Poison crew. <laughs> well, we got some coconuts and there's some guava go growing in the backyard, so we try to pick some, figure out a fish dish. First, we need the fish. First, we need the fish, then we can make some dishes. That would be also delicious. Let's switch it up and get the pudding crew. Pudding crew! The pudding crew! Are you kidding? Look at this neighborhood. The neighborhood is just ridiculous. There's just, cows. It's just, <laughs> it's just house Cow. and yard. You know? Like, wow, it's house, 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 house. It's just yard. Not a yard. Just lovely. Oh, you lose hope. You wouldn't move. Yeah. Look at that's a sign. <laughs> that's a sign. We're gonna shoot a move today. But. Yeah, stick around. You're gonna be on the next episode. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Nice to see you guys. Yes, sir. Right on, right on. Model for supporting. <laughs> stay, 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 stay tuned for the next episode. Yeah. Fishing rides. Fishing <laughs> rides, <laughs> yes, sir. Yee! Yeah. Yeah. in Kauai. Water for a rinse, yeah. Shucks. Yeah, you got coconuts. <laughs> but there's a sprinkler over there. <laughs> Go walk by the sprinkler. Hey guys. Oh, this is not on a. <laughs> Coming up, it's gonna be fun. Yeah. yeah fish. Carry me, chef. It's for your training. <laughs> for your training, just carry me. Oh, this is steep. <laughs> I know, my feet are all wet from the sprinkler, I feel like I'm gonna slip. Yeah. Check out the bare feet, it's easier. Uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You and me together, yeah, yeah, yeah. Having lots of fun. Yeah, bare feet is easier, but it still hurts. Just so I can watch Chelsea yeah, like drag it up. Uh, this is a nuts walk. Straight 45 degrees angles. 
maybe like quarter mile long. Water looks amazing though. Sure, find some fishies. Oh, a bench. Woo, quick break. <laughs> quick break, quick break. I see no divers. It's a good sign. We are the divers. Yes. Sir. Hey guys, thanks for joining us on another adventure of Fish and Grills. We are super excited to be out here in the water. It's been a hot day and a steep hill. So as we go out, we notice there's a bunch of big sized coles all around. So we figured that'll be today's target. And we finally get to test out some of our new Kai's handcrafted spears. These are some of the best three prongs in Hawaii. And then we're just gonna grab enough for some dinner tonight. Same day, different beach. We got rained out at the last place. That's not stopping us. So or not me. We already got <laughs> dinner, but want to check out this spot. They said tree prong only. So, see what's out there. Might get lucky. I don't know. We in Kauai. <laughs> we them. We just got back to the house. We're gonna oh, start washing up yeah, the gear. Yeah. We're gonna start washing up the gear, prepping the fish, stick around. This is our catch for today. We came across some nice, healthy kole grounds. We picked up just enough for tonight's dinner. Got this nice size kala, nice, nice and thick. We're gonna dice it up, make some nice fillets. They're gonna make some kala tacos. With these big koles, we're gonna fillet, make some kole nuggets. And with the medium sized ones, deep fry, make some Holy chips. Stick around.
quick coat Shake and flower. From that, do that, do that, do this. Cold trick is to drop two toothpicks in the oil so it doesn't burn. Mm. Then we we'll just drop the fish. It should be hot enough, hopefully. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Looks like fish sticks or those old school dinosaur <laughs> shaped yeah. chicken nuggets. I think guess chopstick is like a little bit easier to use than a thongs. Yeah. It is. For me, it is. Because, like, makes sense. Like, for tongs, sometimes, like, it'll open up too fast or, and the oil will splash. Or, like, psh. or the ridges dip into the batter Yo, before and it's it ready cracked, yeah. and it cracks it. Yeah. So. That's a pro tip. Yeah. Yeah, pro tip. <laughs> pro tip, guys. Ready to fry stuff with chopsticks. And toothpicks in the oil. What's the reason for the toothpicks again? So the oil doesn't burn. Oh, see? And it's a good way to indicate how hot the oil exactly. is. Exactly. Yeah, when it starts boiling. This Still fish go was, a little bit longer. This fish, I literally shot this fish, what about? What? Three, Four hours ago, five hours two, ago. three o'clock ish. Six <laughs> hours ago, it was swimming. Minding his own business. <laughs> Still twitching. <laughs> I come along, we take it home, eat, you know, it's, it's gonna be part of our meal, so. <laughs> Dinner is about to be served. Yeah. So I'm blessed and honored to present John and Javier their first Kole. Kole is probably one of the highest priced shallow water fish in Hawaii. It's a part of the surgeon fish family, but it's a class of its own. There's no other fish like it, the flavoring, the texture. It doesn't go compare it to any other fish in our waters. It's so fatty that it turns the oil an orange color from all the oils that come from the meat. When fried crispy, that's what they call it, the bacon of the sea. It has this a very distinguishedly flavorful taste to it. And yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited to watch the reaction the first time they try it. Let's start prepping. So the scoring allows for a more evenly cooked throughout the fish and it makes it easier for you to grab out pieces from it and we're going to cook it down so the small bones are more edible so it kind of melts in your mouth so yeah and for coles the f there's so much flavor to the fish itself all you need is pretty much garlic salt and pepper which they have in this case spices. we got the good stuff straight from the tap <laughs> straight straight from the source <laughs> All right, samples up. <laughs> All right, he proves. Let me go. Please, nuggets. Perfect. Too hot. Too <laughs> hot. <laughs> oh. Delicious. Delicious. Look at that. I see it. All I really need is some garlic, some pepper. Where can I get some? Mm -hmm. Oh, perfect. The perfect one. La Miranda. Let's go. So you want to pat this dry before you fry it because if it's too much moisture, it'll make the oil pop. And when oil pops, lands on your skin, that's no bueno. So with the flavorful nature of this fish, you want to keep the seasonings real simple. Right now I'm using salt and pepper because there's so much flavor that comes off this fish. A little bit of salt and pepper, it's gonna just ignite the flavor and just touch all your taste buds. Cool, there you go. Here we are with John and Javier, the first time they're trying cold. Let's see what they think. Oh. 
Yeah. That thing's good. Looks like the look of a oh, yeah. cool. That's really good. <laughs> it's nice and crispy. Like bacon. Like bacon. <laughs> like oh, bacon. There you go. <laughs> what do you think about the flavor? The flavor is good. It's like, <laughs> you, can't compare, you can't compare it to any other fish. No. And the bones are pretty edible too. Fins, tail, the good stuff. That's kind of one of my favorite parts. Is that the fin? Yep. Crunchy, it's like straight up bacon. Look at that oil. It's all yellow, golden brown from the natural oils of the pole. Oh, sampling, sampling, different style. Oh, experimentation. So he, 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 pulled, he pulled the fried coli meat. So he's mixing it with uh, tomato, onion base, and what's in here? Patis and vinegar? Exactly. So like a Filipino-Mexican mash of coli meat. <laughs> goodness. This <is> goodness. <laughs> goodness. That looks major. Right, Kelsey is about to try some koi coli cavalli. Get some of that good goodies. Oh, that's the one. That's the one. That's the one. <laughs> oh, yeah. He saved some for the rest of us. Oh. <laughs> some great A Kawhi for the Kawhi guy. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That's the one. That's the one. That's the one. Kawhi head, Kawhi collar in the Kawhi, in Kawhi. <laughs> Bit of the slaw we made, and then some fresh pico, and then some fresh cream. What is that? Crema, oh. Mexican crema. Woo! Oh my goodness. Never been treated so well in a while. Mmm. <laughs> no words, it's so good. Let me just enjoy this. <laughs> oh no. Juices. Mmm. <laughs> so good. Still my birthday. <laughs> a bit of this, oh. one of that, a bit of that. Wish you were here. <laughs> mm -mm, delicious. So nice. Hey guys. The whole time I was like looking for like something big. Okay, what? You know what I mean? And they all just saying ooh's like, I don't miss you one ooh. Mm -hmm. I went down and saw that like good size call like here. Wait, wait, wait. And like I was down for maybe like 30 seconds or then ah, oh, not getting a shot. Damn, I just chance this long shot. Oh full extension. It was like a like a second to two to three second delay before like I pulled the trigger, I'm like Did I miss? <laughs> Literally I was like Oh, and then it started going, ah, oh, I got it. Oh. So you know, like, ah, oh. 50 I was losing breath already, but yeah, after I shot that, like, ooh, yeah, we got it, we got dinner. And this Hulu, oh my goodness. Good. Our first day in Kauai was amazing. We shot some fish, made some delicious fish dishes. We blessed Joanna and Javier with their first taste of a cole. Check us out on the next part. We're heading to Maka, see what adventure lies for us. Fishing girls, boys here making a quick delivery to Papi Shop. Got some of Kai's uh, breakdown spears. Let's go chop it off. We're getting a pretty late start on the day. Had a really long, painful morning. Turns out we got Cigatera fish poisoning from the Coles. But we took some pain medicine and 
had to go drop off some spears and then we're gonna go hiking later. We'll get into our Sigaterra experience in uh, another video, so stay tuned for that. Hey, how's it going? How's it? We're Kai, buddy. Yeah. Right on. What's your name? Chevy. Chevy? Yeah. Uh, I love it, Chevy. Yeah. Hey, yeah. How's it? How's it? Right on. How's it? How's it? How's it? Oh, this is the one in the bag. Yeah. Remember? Yeah. Nice. This one that he brought over to the house, and then she wanted to buy it. Is it all the pink one? Yeah, this is the one that we were holding on to. Um, Ooh, what, is, what is this gun? I didn't see this one before. Aviator? Or Avatar? Herms Avatar? Look at this gun. My goodness. Yeah, this is a nice shop. Just in case. Just in case we get attacked. Ready! Kai Spears! Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> well, here we are now up Malkaside in the bush. We're trying to look for some prawns for some dinner tonight. The idea is grab a bunch, grab a coconut, throw them in, and heat it up. We got the coffee bean on the inside, but the flesh on the inside is uh, real sweet. Super high in antioxidants and whatnot. Oh, stuff we need right now. You're gonna have that, uh, the bean in there. You could eat the bean, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, mm. Sample. Just make sure you don't got no bug bites or anything. Mm. Still some light left, so we're trying to find some prawns. Let's see. Hmm. Yep, well we got out here a little late. Couldn't find some prawns, but at least we have to hang out in some nice fresh water, jump off the cliffs. We just got back from the woods. We couldn't find any prawns. We had a good time jumping off the cliff. Water felt great. Coming back to the car, Uncle was selling some fresh ice, so we picked up a few bags. So one bag, we're gonna experiment with some fresh coconut water and other spices. The other bag, we're just gonna flash here in butter garlic, top with some lime and seasoning, and uh, simple delicious. Yeah, see how it comes out. All right, we're just gonna dice it up, add some stuff to it, put some fresh coconut water. And experiment. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and experiment with this coconut. Throw some spices, throw some ahi, steam them up inside here while we cook with it, and 
See how it comes out. Ooh. Review. Cool water. That's good. That's good. Got the bouillon, little soup base, a little garlic pot hawkeye. Okay. And this is gonna go into the coconut. Where we're gonna be cooking it as a pot. Coconut pot. Come to a store near you. Coconut <laughs> pot. <laughs> there she blows. All right, let's let that burn. Let's bring everything out here. All right, we're calling another audible on this one. We're gonna put a scoop of pele jelly hot guava inside. This is jelly mixed with Hawaiian chili pepper water. So, let's see how that comes out. So it has a sweet and a with a kick to it. So one scoop. What? Okay, so I'm mixing this up. Gonna drop the coconut right in the middle. <laughs> Fire is hot. That should do it. Give that about 10 50 minutes. Check it, see how it comes out. So, while the coconut is cooking, with the other half of the batch, we're gonna melt on some butter, some garlic with the rest of the coconut water with some. Pele jelly hot guava, dump in our fish, just mix it up till it's all cooked up. Let's try it. Yeah, garlic butter is getting ready. One scoop. Pele jelly. Uh, coconut water. Ah, oh, that's nice. So once the jelly melts down, then we're going to add in our fish. What would be the perfect seasoning? Some lime and spices. Ta-da! Ta we're going to get some house bouillon and some garlic pakai. So let it sit for about another five to ten minutes. Should be good to go. All right, this looks about done. Let's see how it tastes. Perfectly cooked. That base is amazing. With the coconut milk, the lemon spices, the jelly. It's almost like a curry. Sweet, tangy, perfect umami. Super savory. Oh, it is some. Mm. That's better. The curry? It's like curry, yeah. <laughs> it all tastes like curry. That coconut milk in there is bouillon. Oh. Yummy. Success. Let's check on our coconut. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Forgot. We left it outside. It's been there about what, 40 minutes, something like that. Yeah, let's take it in the house, see what it looks like. Oh, 
Can you tell what's from my coconut? <laughs> I just saw from the coconut, see if there's any difference. Similar flavor, but you can definitely tell there's a little bit more smoky flavor to it. And yeah, real good. Definitely it takes longer to cook, but you got no pots in the wild. Go to grease of a coconut. Mm. Alright, and then our fried rice brought to you by Kawhi Alina. And then Fresh ahi, provided by Uncle, driving through the streets, and yeah, made a fancy dish with it. Some of that soup, soup is amazing. Cheers. Well, that concludes our weekend here in Kauai. Thank you, Javier, Joanna, for hosting us. It was an amazing weekend. Looking forward to doing it again. We had a blast. Good times, good grinds, and good people. And as always. Fish and grill. <laughs> <laughs> well, back to Oahu. Kauai was really beautiful. It's really fun. Full of, full of adventures. Everything's all packed up. But all journeys must end. On to the next journey. <laughs> <laughs>